Hello everyone. Today's topic is list, not list, string slicing. So in the previous session, we worked on string basics. So strings are a very important topic. Or uh, mostly when you face any type of interview, any type of programming interview, not specific to Python, but any type of programming interview, you will see that they will start with logical questions from string generally because strings are a little bit logical in terms of um, while judging a candidate whether that candidate is going to solve a particular problem or not or what is the approach of that candidate to solve that problem okay so strings that's why strings are important so now we already know some basics about um strings let's go into the folder we are currently on chapter one um this is our next topic that is string slicing so string slicing is similar to list slicing why because slicing is a common question uh, sorry common topic that is um we also call it comprehensions okay so now it is similar to list slicing you will see that if you want a part of a string, you can use slicing. If you want a part of a list, you can uh, slice it out and uh, create a subset of it or kind of a part of it. Okay, so that that's the same way we are going to work on. So this is a normal variable. Let's call this variable communication. Okay. So it's a simple word. Now we already know about some basics that these are my indexes. Okay, 10, 11, 12. Okay, these are my indexes. If you want to print something, for example, S of zero, so it will print C. C is my um, first character of my string. Okay, it will print C. Now we want a specific part of it. We don't want a specific character because we can access that using a normal index. But if I want a specific part or a subset of this string, I'm going to use slicing. So slicing is simple. How it is simple? Use a square bracket, use a con. Now, if you added a con in here, now there's two sections. First is your starting point, and the second is, is your ending point. So this is my starting point. Starting point um, with respect to what? Starting point with respect to the index. So if I start with zero, so zero is my starting point in this string. And ending point is, for example, four. So ending point will be four. It is similar to list. It will execute exactly same in list slicing and exactly same, the concepts are same in list slicing or string slicing or tuple slicing now if you start with zero and add it four this will include these four characters these are five characters but it will not include the last character as we you know um it will not include the last index so we will start from c and it will end at m second m okay so it will give you an output of COMM, okay? Now, um, this is a simple rule that if you specify an ending, ending point, it will work less than one, or it will not include the ending point that you mentioned here, okay? For example, let me use S of starting point is two, ending point is eight, okay? The rule is, slicing will always work from left to right so if you start with two it will go towards right left to right just like we read some sentence okay so starting point is this m and ending point is this eight but it will not include the last point that means it will work till c okay clear this is how it works if you start with four and go towards one okay so this will not work it will give you an output 
uh, it will not give you an error obviously generally we you don't know uh, you will not get any type of error in slicing whether it's list slice uh, list string or top anything okay so you will not going to get any error uh, in some cases you will get an error otherwise it will give you some output it can be empty list or empty string or otherwise it will give you values from that particular string okay so um four starting point is four okay this is my starting point but ending point is one okay so you want interpreter to go towards right to left okay uh, as you gave the starting point as four ending point is one okay but it will give you an empty string okay why because by default the interpreter will work from left to right now you are telling it to go right to left without giving the direction now what is direction uh, we'll come to it in some point but if you start with four and want it to go backwards it will not work you have to mention something here but if you run this it will give you empty string okay this is empty string or you if you want to see let me write the same thing here without print statement you will see single quotes okay this is my empty string okay empty string is just um the string between two characters okay so if you see there is no space between c and o so um anything between them is an empty string okay empty string is represented as this if you give an space it will give you um this is a value now okay understand this if you give a space to a string uh, give a space to a variable it is a string but it comes with a value for example the ascii code for this particular uh space is 32 the ascii code for space is 32 whenever you press the key space the uh, interpreter will consider it as 32 it will be converted into binary and it will be processed by our system okay but when you assign an empty string an empty string is generally considered as zero or false okay if you convert this into boolean it will give you uh let me convert that for you <clears throat> let's call it a let's call this b okay uh let's give it a space and let's give it a nothing okay let's print it if you print the boolean format of a and if you print the boolean format of b okay so boolean format of a because this is 32 that means it's a number and if it's a number it would be considered as the charge is flowing there and you you can convert that number into binary that's why it was it will considered as true but if you talk about empty strings empty strings come with comes with no value you cannot find any key on your keyboard as empty okay so this will be considered as false okay so if you run this the first one is true because it's representing a space or uh, second one is false because it is representing empty string also one more thing if you check the type of it for example type of a and if you check the type of b both are strings okay so we use empty string as the placeholder if you are assigning something to it okay it is a placeholder now you can perform all type of string operation using this b because b is a string object now okay so you can use it as a placeholder just like you assign um, assign an empty list to a variable so that you can get all the properties of list class okay so that's why we do this and uh, let's come back to this example let me copy all this one let's move forward now i'm starting with um let's understand the starting and ending point along with the steps part okay so if i if i do not pass anything here it will start from the first point 
to the end point okay it will always work less than one to the end point if you mention the ending point here okay if you have mentioned nine so it will work till eight if you mention 10 it will work till nine okay but if you mention nothing it will work till the last element it will include the last element okay so let me use a conan again this conan create c sections now okay so there is no starting point there is no ending point we are not mentioning anything but let me pass these steps here steps can be anything it can be positive it can be negative so if you pass two here so the starting point is c the ending point is n okay because we are not mentioning anything so it will include all the characters but these steps are two let me write this here the third section is start column and column steps so you you mentioned two here the starting point is c the ending point is n but these steps are two that means it will include c it will jump to m then it jump to u then it will jump to i and it will jump to a okay one two one two okay it will skip one element okay so when you run this then c m u i a like this okay so this is one part let me take one more example now by default your string or the slicing will work left to right we already know this but if you want to uh, make it work right to left you should use negative indexes so whenever you pass minus one this will represent that your string should work right to left in opposite direction okay we generally work left to right uh, now we are working right to left okay so when you run this you will see that this statement will reverse this string okay now my string is reversed now okay so this is an example whenever when um, i was giving in the my first interview in python they asked me to reverse a string so this is what i did but they asked me no you cannot do this you have to write the logic and at that time i don't know much about python so i code it in front of them in c then convert the code into python so that was that was my approach but uh, uh, you can see that python makes so many things easy this doesn't mean that you are not going to build uh, build a program using a logic so always make sure you work on logics also so if you are using a function make sure what type of algorithms they are using for example if you want to calculate the length make sure you know that how to calculate a length using while loop or for loop or building your logic okay so that way we will work on this creating or reversing a string using while loop not this shortcut obviously now uh, let's move forward so this is reversing a string if i do something like minus two you will see that it will jump jump two elements but uh, similar to this one but in the right to left format so if you run this you will see this output okay clear it will jump like this if you print the value of s you will see that it's still communication because strings are immutable object immutable that means unchangeable okay unchangeable that means you cannot change this particular um string okay all you can do is all you can do is apply your operation and it will generate a new string like this if you perform any type of slicing it will always generate a new string it, this is a new object here this is a new string here but the previous s is still the same okay so this is why uh, we use um this as immutable that means uh, uh, this immutable means ultimately okay so now this is your um, string slicing you can perform diff other different operations for example if i write s of uh, 4 
to one, but this time uh, my direction is minus one. Okay, my direction is minus one. In the previous section, when we used four to one, it is giving me, uh, it was giving me the empty string. Okay, because by default it will work left to right. But this time I'm mentioning the steps of the minus one. That means it will work from right to left. So my starting point is four. So zero, one, two, three, four. That means u. The ending point is one. Okay, u and one. Now because we are working right to left, it will include all the element. But the ending point is one now. So it will not include the one part. So it will use u m m only. Okay, this will not include the one. Because whenever you mention something, if you do not mention anything in the ending point, it will include all the elements. But if you mention something, it will always work less than one. It will not include this part, this number, this index. Okay. So when you run this, U M M is the output. Okay. In this form, left to right, sorry, right to left. Okay. So this is how list slicing works. Okay. There are so many other questions you can try. You can put different values inside it and you will find something. So if I write something like the starting point uh, as one ending point as 15. Okay. Now there's no index 15 here. Or if you par pass here 55, so there's no index 55. But if you run this, you will see that it will include all the elements from one to last. Okay. So there's no error here. Okay. Let me run this. So if I mention um, 55 here and pass one here and pass minus one here, will this work? This will work. So 55, that means the last element. This is my last index. Okay. So it will include all the elements in reverse format. Understand this. If you mention something that is not available as your index, it will consider the last as your starting point. Okay. So this is how it works. Uh, the only case you will find an error in slicing. So if I pass something like zero steps, okay. If I pass zero steps, that means this doesn't make sense. Okay. So if I pass zero here, it will give you, uh, give me an error. Okay. So error is slicing steps cannot be zero. Okay. So this is a value error. Okay. So this is the only case you will find an error in, otherwise you generally get an output. So this is how this uh, string slicing works. Okay. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment section or you can connect me on LinkedIn, connect with me on LinkedIn. Okay. That's it for today's session. Let's move forward with next topic that will be uh, string functions and string methods. Okay.